Hello everyone and welcome to lesson 37 of C programming on the Mac. In this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to use unions in C and we're going to do a nice little comparison to structs uh, comparing the two and you'll see what makes them different. So um, hope you enjoy. So uh, to start out here we're going to create a header file. So go ahead up to file new file or the action button add new file and you guys know how to create a header file by now um, so go ahead and do that and I've already created mine on the side here so uh, I just called mine union.h but you can call yours whatever you want so um, to start out the syntax for a un or creating a union is basically the exact same as creating a struct so when you create a union you start out with union and then you basically give it the tag name or um, your identifier for when you actually um, reference it in code. So later on when you're declaring a union, you would say union number for its type. And basically, um, this is where I'm going to explain what a union is. So um, when we create data structs, or not data structs, when we create structs, like we did in a previous lesson when I did talk about structs, structs should basically um, just give um, a bunch of different variables that you want to have in a set. So, you know, if you're talking about people, you'd put age and height and a bunch of different things in that you'd want to store in a struct. A union is basically shared memory. So, um, what it does is you enter a bunch of different data types. So, I can throw integers in there. I can throw any data type that I want. I can put any data type that I want in a union, and basically it will find the greatest, um, the one that has the greatest size or the greatest number of bytes, and it will basically create enough memory to hold that greatest value. So um, what it does is, if you think of a union as one, you can think that a union only holds enough for one value. So um, it's much easier to just explain this by typing it out here. So I'm going to create an int, and I'm going to call it my int. I'm going to create a double and just call it my double and I'll also create a float and what, do you, what am I going to call that? That's right, my float. So basically what's going to happen here is that um, it will identify which one has the greatest size. So an integer has a total of two bytes, a double has a total of eight bytes, and a float has four bytes. So it says, all right, so a double has eight bytes. That's obviously the largest amount. So what it does is it creates enough memory for eight bytes, and then therefore it can hold the largest type and the smallest type. But it can only hold one value at a time. So if for example, I assign my int to my program. My int will be the only one with a value in the union. If I assign my double a value right after that, now my double is the only one that has a value and nothing else will have a value. If I do the same for my float, I assign my float right after that and then nothing else in the union will have that value. So basically union just creates enough memory to hold the largest value and it can only hold one value at a time. So Let's go ahead and finish this off, and we'll make sure this all works, yep. And now let's go back to our main.c, and uh, make sure you include the header file. Um, that's obvious, because you want to be able to use it. So we include union.h, or whatever you called it. And now we can just create a union. And generally, when you're doing programs, you don't always um, create unions. Uh, usually you put them in data structures, which I'll show you in a second, but um, when you're this is just a good example. So let's create that union uh, that we just did. So it's of type basically union number, and then I'll just call it num. And now I can assign the different values as I go. So I'll say num dot my int, and I'll give it a value of five. And I'll say num dot my float, and I'll give that a value of six point eight nine. All right, so now let's go to print the, these values out and see what's going on in the program. So um, for starters, I'm gonna try to print out that int. And like I said, um, it's always gonna hold the last value that it assigns. So in this case, my int was overridden technically by my float since my float was the last thing that was assigned. So my int basically gets thrown out. So when I go to call this, it's basically not gonna return the right thing um, so num.myInt, and if I go to build and run this, 
and all is successful, go to the console, and as you can see, it returns this crazy whacked out number, which resembles nothing of my int, which basically is saying that um, my int can't be accessed because it doesn't really exist. So, um, I mean, you just get very unexpected results. So, uh, that's pretty much what goes on there. Now, let's try the same if I go to print out my float. And I type in my float, I go to run this, go to the console, and as you can see, I get 6.89, which is exactly what I assigned to my float. So now, I'll show you another example of overriding this. And if I assign my int again to, let's say, 7 this time, and now I go to print out my int, build and run, and as you can see, it prints out 7. So as you can see, it's always storing whatever the last value is in the set. So now, uh, let's try something different. Let's go back to our header file here, and we're going to create uh, a data structure, or a struct. So let's call a struct, and we're going to just call this people, and it's going to be a, just a generic thing for people. So we'll call int age, and uh, that's that. We'll just give float uh, height. And then we can also create, and this is usually when you use unions, generally you don't just create a union by itself like we did in our program there. Generally you want to put them inside a union, or inside a struct. So I'm just going to copy this and I'm going to throw it in here. And now you can see that basically my um, union is inside my struct. And I now I also have to create an instance variable for this because this is how I'm going to uh, references, sorry, not necessary, a variable for it. And um, there, I'm just going to call it n for number, and you'll see how this works in a second. So basically what I've created is a struct of people, it has an age that I can assign, a float of height that I can assign, and it also has a union, and this union will create enough memory for all the objects in here, and basically I can assign one of these values. And um, maybe I'll just change this to uh, favorite number. Okay, so this is uh, favorite number. Doesn't really matter what I call it, um, but that's what I'm going to call it. So uh, union favorite number, and now um, I can just go and uh, run this. So let's go ahead and try some of these things out. So I'm going to create a struct of people, and let's call it person, and now I can assign different values, so I can do person.age, and make sure I'm doing this right, I may have screwed something up, um, nope, yeah, maybe not, okay, uh, I guess I'm good, so person.age, person.height, and I'm going to give these different values, so I'll say you're uh, 16, height, and I don't know what the heck this is in, I don't really know what people are, how high are people's heights, but anyway, um, 120 in some random generic term, and, um, and let's go back, and so we created a union of favorite number, and because everyone's favorite number is definitely some crazy integer, I decided to throw that in there. So basically, a person's favorite number can be one of these values here. So that means if I'm going to reference this, I have to call uh, the instance that I had, so people, or person, person dot n dot, and then the value that I have. So uh, let's go ahead and do this, person dot n, because that's the variable that I assigned to my union right here, n is right here, and then I can say the value that I want. So my int gets 5. And uh, let's just do a few printfs here, just to see how this works. So percent %d, and copy and paste, person.age, copy and paste that, oops, did not mean to do that. Copy, paste, and let's throw in, I guess it's the same value, so person.n dot my int. So now we're just going to print out the age and uh, the int. Let's go ahead, build and run this, and as you can see, when we run it, we get 16, which is the age, and 5, which is the int that we assigned. So that's pretty much how unions work. So um, 
In summary, a union basically creates enough memory for the largest object in the union, and then we can assign uh, different values as we go. And the whole point to unions is basically memory management, or not memory management, but saving memory. So, um, you know, if we uh, can interchange the values that we have and we don't have to create every single value, then a union uh, works well for that case because then we uh, just create enough memory for to hold um, one of the largest values. So this is pretty much how to use uh, unions in C, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. And if you like these tutorials, please subscribe to the channel. Uh, more tutorials are always in production. And uh, yeah, so check out the channel and leave comments if you have any questions, and a thumbs up the video. See you next tutorial.